Folks, in the coming month, I expect to be talking to you about a whole lot of issues, and I'll always be direct with you. But today, I want to talk about gestures of support and encouragement that I've made to women and some men, and I've made them uncomfortable. And I always try to be, uh, in my career, I've always tried to make a human connection. That's my responsibility, I think. I shake hands, I hug people, I, I grab men and women by the shoulders and say, you can do this. And, and, uh, and whether they're women, men, young, old, it's, it's the way I've always been. It's the way I've tried to show I care about them and I'm listening. And over the years, knowing what I've been through, the things that I've faced, I've found that scores, if not hundreds of people have come up to me and reached out for solace and comfort, something, something, anything that may help them get through the tragedy they're going through. And, and, uh, and, and so I, it's just, just who, who I am. And I've never thought of politics as cold and antiseptic. I, I've always thought it about... Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to give you guys another Hot Topics for today. Um, before I, what? Take my black ass to work. <laughs> so, anyways. So, that was a video of Joe Biden, right? Um, he addressed, uh, you know, there was a... I think there's been a couple of people who have come forward and not said that he sexually assaulted them, but they said that he made them feel uncomfortable. You know, he's a very hands-on type of politician. Um, I think Megan McCain called him a retail politician. I guess the type of person who feels that it's very important to touch. And like he said, a part of me, do I believe that Joe Biden doesn't mean any harm? Yes. I don't think that he meant any harm or he means any harm when he touches and he's a very affectionate type of person but I think what people need to realize at the end of the day everybody is not like that and that's just the truth of the matter and I don't get how people like Whoopi and Megan Megan can be so upset because someone says oh he made me feel uncomfortable the truth of the matter is me as and to hit to his credit I have seen pictures all on the internet with him being the same way with men and with women but at the end of the day, I'm just speaking for me right now. I would feel uncomfortable if Joe Biden was to grab my shoulders or pull me in to pull me in close to him or what if you just shake my hand. That's it. And a part of it, this may sound so fucked up what I'm about to say, but a part of it has to be with him being old as fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Ain't nobody ain't nobody 80 years old touching and grabbing me and doing all that unless and listen, if ain't no money involved, if ain't no money involved, ain't no 80-year-old man grabbing me, grabbing me by my waist. Ain't no 80-year-old 80 80 man touching me, I mean, kissing me on my shoulder. You're not kissing me on my forehead. You ain't doing none of that. If ain't no money involved. And you can take that how you want to take it, okay? I think there is a big difference. Um, I think there is a big difference. Um, not Like I said, not to say that young, hot guys can't be creeps. Because they can. But I think that if people had a choice of like a 30-year-old Brad Pitt or Idris Elba kissing them on the forehead and grabbing them by the waist, they would choose that over 75, 80-year-old Joe Biden, however old he is. I'm just saying. I think it's fair to say that everyone doesn't like people in their personal space. And I would think, and I would assume that people should know how to read. I would think that somebody like Joe Biden would know how to read people. If I'm just standing there, why would you walk up and then grab me by my shoulders or, you know, come in and whisper something in my ear and then kiss me on my forehead? What the fuck? Now, it's one thing if I'm, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, Barack, 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 or Joe, 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 oh, my God, I love you, I love you. Then, of course, at that point, the person probably doesn't care if you reach in and give them a hug or kiss them on their cheek or kiss them on their forehead or whatever the case may be. But if I'm just standing there like this, girl, don't you come in grabbing me, don't you come in touching me. Clearly, I don't want you in my space, <laughs> okay? I just feel like it's not that hard to read people, especially when it comes to, oh, should I touch them? Um, should I kiss them? And I understand that sometimes people get caught in the moment. I know he's probably been around millions and millions of people and, and, and at these, uh, what are they called? At these um, rallies, you know, I'm sure that he can get caught in the moment at those things. But at the end of the day, like you should, I just feel like the way that people are trying to treat this like, 
it's not that big of a deal. No, it's not that big of a deal. And no, it's not the same thing as Donald Trump grabbing women by the pussies, okay? It's not the same thing like that. And that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying, people need to realize that everybody doesn't like people in their space. Point blank, period. I don't like people in my space like that either. Now, it's one thing if we sit there kicking and laughing like, girl, and then you touch my shoulder, I touch your. But for you just to walk up in my space and just start grabbing me by my waist or, you know, massaging my shoulders. What are you massaging my shoulders? Sorry, y'all. That was my friend calling me uh, being messy as fuck. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, I understand that Joe probably doesn't mean any harm. I'm sure that this is what they've probably been taught about how to connect with the people. You have to be hands-on and they like this and they love this. No, everybody not hands-on. Everybody not like that. A lot of people are not hands-on. A lot of people are not like that. I think y'all should do a better job at reading people. Um, if, like I said, if you come across someone who's hot, who's hollering and screaming, then there's a good chance that that person probably doesn't mind you in their space. But if you see somebody who's just kind of like standoffish and just like, Hey, how are you? They probably will be okay just with a handshake. That's all I'm saying. Wendy Williams, girl. So they said Wendy Williams husband is basically trying to buy her heart back. They say that he purchased a $40,000 watch. Now, bitch, $40,000 is a lot of motherfucking money, okay? <laughs> so, I'm not even gonna say it ain't like it ain't. Especially for a motherfucking watch, bitch. That's more than what I make in a year, and you done spent it on a motherfucking watch, okay? So, I'm not mad. I do not feel good, y'all. I'm so sorry. So, I'm not mad at it. But, I mean, what's $40,000 to a bitch who, I think they said her net worth is like $70 million. Like, and I'm sure your trifling ass probably took her card and paid for it. Kevin, Wendy, like at this point, like on some real shit, auntie girl, like you gonna have to do something because can you imagine? Let can you imagine all the shit I talk about how if a nigga hit me, we gonna fuck this house up, bitch, it's over. Then I get with a nigga and then he hit me and y'all find out and I stay. You see what I'm saying? Y'all, I think y'all would be like, hold up, nigga. Your ass been sitting in your living room talking about if a nigga hit you, how y'all gonna fuck up the place and how you gonna leave. And it ain't the fact that you probably didn't even fuck up the place, but bitch, you still stay. You still stay. After all this shit you done talked in your living room, time after time, like, Wendy, you talk a lot of shit about people leaving men and being in relationships and this and that, and I'm Auntie Wendy, and you should listen. And now all of a sudden, girl, you... You on another break. You on another break. You say, y'all say it's a late spring break break. Girl, this nigga done bought you a forty thousand dollar watch after he allegedly had a baby with his side bitch. I can't even call her no side bitch no more. <laughs> well, his girlfriend. You coming onto the show like ain't nothing happened. Everybody looking at you crazy. Like, Auntie, what you gonna do, girl? Girl, you should not be impressed. A bitch who worked, a bitch who has a net worth of seventy million dollars, probably more than that. You should not be impressed by um about by um by, by, by a forty thousand dollar watch. You shouldn't be. You should not be impressed. Bitch, you know how many forty thousand dollar watches you can buy off your own goddamn dime? What you gonna do, girl? Y'all, my dumb ass. I didn't realize my AC was like on 60 degrees the other day. Now, mind you, the weather, this weather in Houston will up and change. I'm telling y'all, it was just hot the other day. The out the blue bitch, it got freezing cold. Not freezing cold, but it was cold as fuck outside. So I forgot my AC was like on 60. And I got my AC on, girl. I got my wind machine on. It's actually really called somebody like I don't think somebody I think somebody think I'm lying when I say a wind machine. It's really called a wind machine. It blows cold like I'm talking about it's like it's like a fan, like a box fan, but it blows air like 20 times faster, girl. On some real shit. And I got the wind machine on my head, like at the foot of my bed. Girl, the AC on. It's cold as fuck outside, so I wake up in the middle of the night shivering like, oh my God, it's cold. Like, what's going on? 
So I tried, I don't want to get out the bed. <laughs> Anyways, I woke up the next day, nose just snuck, stu stuffy girl. I said, this is some bullshit. <sighs> Anyways, uh, Wendy girl, I don't know what you're going to do, bitch. You need to figure out something because, um, yeah, we, the people, the people, the people not here for, I'm low-key about to stop, <laughs> let me stop lying, let me stop lying, I was about to say, I'm low-key about to stop fucking with Wendy, y'all know I'm lying, bitch. <laughs> <sighs>